All right, man. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Billy Ratliff here with the Volunteer Road Show, man. Hey, and guess what? I got my main man back here once again to give y'all the real deal on what he said last time. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was saying last time. Riggs, man. Riggs. What's up, boss, man? Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Always doing good after a uh, winning weekend. Hey, Can't beat those. Hey, that's true, man. Hey, I never even thought that we'd be saying that right now. You know, we going bowling, man. You know, undefeated like they used to tell us. Hey, what, what do we do in November, man? <laughs> right? That, that's, 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 that's all that matters, man. What you do in November is what they remember. Most definitely, so, man. You know, it's good. It's good that they finally, uh, you know, they finished off the season right, man. Got themselves in a bowl game, man. That's huge for them. You know what I mean? That's huge. That's huge, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man, I'm, I'm going to get right to it, man. Hey, you called them boys out, man. You called them out, man. They didn't do it the week after that, but they finally came out what you said they needed to do. And I don't know if it was the – well, actually, you called him out. You said he had it, and, and, and he did it. Right. What do you think? I mean, he, the, what do you think, man? Tell me. Tell me. What, what I mean, happened? Well, I mean, a couple of things happened. You know, obviously the offensive line continued to play uh, well like they have been for the last, you know, couple months of the season, I guess. Um, you know, they've carried that, that that whatever they carried into the Bama game, they've carried it week in and week out. So, uh, you know, they kept up their end of the bargain. And, you know, finally we got to see what, what, uh, what Greg can do. You know, I mean, we got to see where, you know, I think – you know, my, my, my leash with him was a little bit longer than it was with Chandler simply because, hey, Chandler, you've been, you've been in the program for a while. Um, you know, we need to see more. You know what I mean? We, we, and we should have seen more by now. Um, you know, the, but with Gray, you saw where, you know, he was trying. It's not, and, 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 and I probably sound like I was, you know, uh, really down on him because, you know, hey, he was getting tackled by one guy and all that sort of stuff. And, again, I mean, you're, you're still – and I think I said this last time is where, you know, hey, you're still learning. Right. He's still learning. Um, you know, obviously he's playing against better guys than he was playing against last year, this time last year. So, um, you know, it's going to take a little bit of a time. Everybody's got a little bit of a learning curve, so to speak, um, or physical curve, however you want to look at it. But uh, I think one of the things that he did well in the Vanderbilt game was that once he made that one move, that was it. <laughs> now, granted, them holes wide, brother. I ain't gonna lie. Them holes wide. I mean, you could get, you, you know, hell, you could you you could drive section double X through that thing. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, though, there have been other games throughout the year where he's had some of those same holes, and 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 that did not happen. Mm -hmm. So, um, kudos to him, man. He went to work. It was obvious that he went to work uh, in those weeks, and he's been working hard. And sometimes, man, it's just like that. You just keep working and keep working and keep working. And eventually, you know, it comes together in a game, man. You're able to break a long run, you know, big runs over, you know, 40, 50, 60 yards. I mean, you know, go 94, that was huge. And then they come back and follow that up with another big uh, long run. Um, but the thing was, man, once he saw the opening, he was hitting it, man. And, and he was getting somewhere. And that's, that's what you want to see out of your back. Now, I mean, it was Vanderbilt, but at the same time, <laughs> you know, hey, you got to get your confidence up against somebody. somebody. And, 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 you know, it, it, I've, there's been years where, hell, that didn't even happen then. You know what I mean? So uh, it was good to see him get out there and, and, and make some plays. And, um, you know, hell, he set records, man. That's, that's I mean, that's not going to be the, that's not going to be the norm. But, you know, I think, I think he showed uh, uh, in a game where he had every opportunity to do it. He took advantage of every opportunity he got. And that was, and that was good to see. You know, that's what I was saying to me. I'm glad that we, we, we finally got that, man. You know, and I'm glad you, you made me aware of that because, you know, that's what I thought our strengths was going to be on offense this year was the running back position. Right. And, you know, throughout the whole season, you know, I guess because the everybody was so clouded on, on the quarterback position that we forgot right. about that position. And, and when you told me that, it made sense, you know, because – I forgot about it. the whole team got to work together. If, if if the wheel is not turning with everybody, it's not going to work. I mean, whether it's right. running backs, receivers, tight ends. I mean, it's, it's – Well, I mean, it, I was just, so, so yeah, much. I was just say, it all comes together. I mean, I think, uh, obviously, you know, everything starts from, from, from the head, from, you know, top down, right? So, you know, with quarterback, quarterback got to make good decisions. Mm -hmm. He's got to be able to put us in the right plays. He's got to be able to, you know, uh, uh, get us out of the wrong plays and, and do those types of things. Um, after that, running, you know, offensive line obviously got to do their job. Running backs got to make plays because if running backs don't make plays, what do they do? They crowd the line. They, 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 and then when we do uh, decide to drop back, 
hell, we ain't worried about y'all receivers because they ain't done nothing. So, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're, they're blitzing. And we have a, we had a young – well, we had a guy that had a little bit of trouble getting the ball out of his hands to start the year. And then we had a young quarterback who really hadn't seen anything yet. So, mm -hmm. uh, when you don't – when your running game isn't performing at, at, at a uh, – uh, a high level or, or at least a respectable level given the kind of talent that we have and given the way that our offense is set up um it doesn't look good across the board it, it, it all looks bad right but when you got that running game going now teams have to honor it. and you know not that our it, let me take that back none of our receivers are guys that you can't worry about you got you know every receiver that we got that's playing on the field is somebody that can hurt you at any point in time including our tight end so uh it's, 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 it's one of those deals where, again, if we're running the ball well and we're getting four, five, six yards a pop, hey, now passing game opens, whether it's quick game, whether it's intermediate game, whether it's the, you know, the long ball. Those, get, those, those, those windows become even more open because now, you know, they have to really respect and honor the run game, and it's a threat. You know what I mean? So, so going into the bowl game, uh, you know, you can kind of you – know, I think when you look at how the, whoever we play is going to scout us and play us, they're going to have to respect the run game a little bit more because they've seen us pick the run game up, which is mm -hmm. going to open things up for us uh, uh, in the passing game. You know, I mean, that's what I've been thinking about too, man. When you said that, you know, like I'm from the old school, man. You know, you got to be able to run the ball to be able to do anything offensively, you know, to be, right. you know, to be successful. You right. know, and and, and I've, even on defense, you know, that's the first thing they, they, they tell us, you know. Right. Stop the run. Stop the run first. Force then, the pass, once right? once we stop the run, we can have some fun. Right. Because pass pass rush becomes so much easier. You know, we oh, yeah, of the quarterback. So of and, and and and, I'm, and that's why I said I'm glad you made me think about that, man, because that's that's huge. I mean, I you know forgotten element of the game or something that I, I didn't think about. Well, I mean it's 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 really easy sometimes, you know, when we get wrapped up in what we want to see um from our team, what we want to see from certain things, even as a coach, you know what I mean? When you're, when you're out there coaching, it, it, it becomes really, sometimes it gets real easy because you're human to say, well, hey man, we're focused on this one element because it's not seeming to work right. But understanding when you're talking about the game of football, all of it has to be working in order for it all to come together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Very few, unless you're a team that literally is 80, 20 in terms of throwing the passing and yeah. running and running the ball is really something you do just to kind of, uh, uh, change the pace or just to kind of give you something. So to give you, if you're, you know, talking about like, like we talked about last time, the Kentucky teams of old where, you know, they just throw the ball 40, 50 times mm -hmm. and they run the ball just enough to keep you, just to, just to make you think about it. Um, but we're not that kind of team. No. You know what I mean? Tennessee's never been that kind of team. And, and with Jeremy there, you know we're not going to be that type of mm -hmm. team. We're going to be a team that lines up, controls the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, uh, which means being able to run the football, stop the run, and we basically run to pass. We run the football so that we can throw the football. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with that being said, you just it's, it, again, you go back to how you just have to be able to be effective uh, in that part of the game in order for everything to come together. If it doesn't, if if one element is lacking, all elements are not going to be firing the way that they're supposed to. It's just it, it just doesn't work. Not in not offensive system, uh, any system that 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 predicates itself on being balanced. That it won't work if your running game is off, or if you're missing the throws you're supposed to make when you do get to make them. Then guess what? Now they're crowding the box, and you can't run the ball because they don't respect your receivers, right? When you're dropping balls and doing all that sort of stuff. So it works both ways. Right. Well, and tell me this, here, G. I mean, you know, they go into a bowl game. You know, they got a couple extra practices. Tell me this. How, tell everybody how big and how huge it is to have these additional practices for the young guys, man. It's, man, it's the best thing you can do. Going to a bowl is basically like going back to training camp mm -hmm. and, 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 and getting those uh, teach reps. You know what I mean? Those chance to really teach reps, see things. And the greatest thing about it is if you got young guys who have played like we do, you have a whole you – know, well, you know, when we were in, in school going to bowl games, our bowl games were a little bit later, so we had a lot more time uh, to, to, you know, practice. We had probably, what, three weeks – you know, about three weeks of practice, almost a month of practice before we had to report uh, for the bowl. But in this situation, the bowl is going to be a somewhat quick turnaround. But even then, you're still going to have enough time to where you can go back throughout the season and you can show guys, right, hey, look, this is where we started. This is where we are. This is what got us where we are. And if we want to be better, this is what we got to do, right? And, and they're able to put the visual to the field, right, and say, okay, we saw what – I see what I look like now especially your young guys who've never really played before 
at the level and they're getting their real first taste of a of, of significant playing time, uh, uh, you know, they understand now, okay, that's what it really looks like, but this is what it needs to look like. So here's what I need to do. And, it, and it's just an opportunity again. And even your guy, and for your guys that don't really get to play a lot, but guys that you are probably going to need in the case of injury or whatever, wherever the case may be, uh, you know, it gives them an opportunity to grow a little bit more, right? It gives them an opportunity to grow a little bit more. And it just gives you another chance to really see and evaluate your team um, and, and see where you are going into the next year. So you're not, you know, going into it, you know, kind of blindly, if you, if, if, if you will, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, but it's, 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 you know, the bowl game is huge for a lot of reasons. Obviously, you know, big for uh, uh, recruiting. It's big for, uh, uh, you know, the fan base and all that sort of stuff. Give them another chance. But, yeah, man, the biggest – I think the biggest thing that comes out of having the opportunity to go to a bowl other than if you're going to, you know, a national championship or something like that where you're getting to compete for something that really matters, um, it's just another opportunity. It's another opportunity that you get to work with your guys and coach your guys up and get them better. Uh, and, and hopes that you know next year you actually you know a lot more about yourself and and, and can come out you know with a, a lot better start. You know that's, that's that's what I keep saying to man. That's what I, that's the beauty of going to a bowl game. And I told I tell people that all the time. Exactly what you just said is point on, man. And you know something that I wish. You know, some of these kids have had a, a long time, but, you know, now it's right. time for them to build off this here, you know. Right. It's that part where, you know, now you don't have it where these guys not used to winning. They got something to build off on now. You know, they right. see, you know, these and seniors I, that get ready to leave on, they got something to look up to now, something to right. build off of now. So, right. And, that's, and, that was the, and, that, and, as, and as we're sitting here talking about this, that's another reason, why, you know, that's another thing that you can really contribute or uh, attribute uh, our – lack of success over the last couple of years too. We never had a bowl game to go to. We never had an opportunity to get those guys better. They're gone for three weeks. Mm -hmm. well, that's huge. Yeah. <laughs> After the season was over, I mean, for the last couple of years, as soon as that last game's over, hell, they go home. Go home. They go right? home. And, 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 and I mean, yeah, that's cool. You get to go home. But, hey, man, we're here to play football. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, those, those, those three weeks or whatever that you get to stay rather than going home, that's, you get better. That's huge. You man. get, I mean, you get better in those three weeks. I mean, believe it or not, um, and those practices are. I mean, if they do it right, which you know, you know, Jeremy and those guys are going to, is those those practices are competitive. They're very competitive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, obviously, uh, in, in situations where you know you got guys in positions where it could go either way, they don't. Have, you know, it's not a clear cut guy at the position. Hell, hey, more comp, you know, more position competition, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that it just brings out. Uh, uh, another element of of, of a, a, a competition to where you know guys don't get relaxed. They don't ever they don't get relaxed in the and in, in, in you and I both know um, you know the second you get relaxed, man, that's 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 trouble. <laughs> that's right? Trouble. You get relaxed, that's you trouble. get comfortable in your situation, man. That's mm -hmm. trouble. That so uh, it, it keeps guys on their toes. And again, you know, everybody's always in the mind of, hey, man, I got to compete every day for my job. I got to compete every day to get better. I got to compete every day to make sure that, hey, when I go out there, if I am playing on the field, that when I go out there, uh, you know, I got every chance to, to be successful and every chance to win. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and you're right, man. I mean, it's a, you know, those three weeks of not being able to have practices that in the past with them not having bowl games, you become lazy, you know? Right. Let's think about it. You go home for the Christmas break. You go home, you know, for New Year's. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many things that happen. I mean, you know it as a trainer, you know, in three weeks off. Oh, man. Oh, you know, man, that's... three weeks. I mean, look, three weeks. A week, week you take off. Three, you take, well, I mean, oh, you know, depending on what you're, where you're at in your training and all that sort of stuff, after a week, I mean, a week off is not necessarily bad for you. Mm -hmm. But you take an entire month off. And, <laughs> and you're, I mean, that's, that's, that's I mean, even if when you're in the best shape, you know what I mean, you come back. You're probably not going to be able to do the thing, at least not for the first couple of days. You're not going to be able to do the things that you were doing three weeks before. Not, not, not at that, not to that level, not yeah. at that crit, because, you know, it's, it, again, it, you just lose something. You mm -hmm. lose a little bit uh, in the transfer, just kind of sitting down and relaxing. So uh, keeping those guys, man, on their toes, keeping them in the spirit of competition, keeping them, um, uh, you know, in the mindset that, hey, man, we, you know, we're, we, we can't relax. We've got an opportunity to get better, so let's use it. Uh, it's a good thing for you, man. It's a great thing for um, any team. I mean, you can look at uh, any team in the last, you know, and all these in, really in college football period over history. Hey, man, you know, they continue to go to bowl games all the time. That's yeah. It's not just because they're going to bowl games that they're good. It's not, it's because they're getting opportunities to develop their players, you know, in, in a lot of different ways, not just during the summer, not just during training camp, uh, not just during spring practice. 
they're getting a chance to, they're getting a chance to develop those guys and teach those guys uh, uh, in a whole different and, and basically a whole new uh, camp setting where again you know that's 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 extra it, it, it's extra than what you normally would get and uh, it, it's it's a good situation for everybody man because again you you get an opportunity to grow as a player uh, and to learn more as a player and especially if you're a young player that has played a little bit already Hey, man, now I get to slow things down a little bit. I can slow my mind down a little bit. And I can go back and look at everything that I've done over the course of this season and say, hey, Kate, you know, like I said before, hey, man, where do I need to get, where do I need to get better? Mm-hmm. Right? I, and, and I know where I need to get better now. It's not a guess. It's not a, well, could I have done this? I don't know. We didn't get ready to play in, in that game against nobody that really mattered, blah, blah, blah. I actually know where I stand now. And from there, now I know what to do to, to get better. I know what I look like on film so that that way next year I can come back and change some things uh, that I see that need to be changed. And of course, you know, everybody's wanting to know what bowl game we going to. Of course, me, I say, I don't care what bowl game we go to, you know, as long as at this point, I mean, I mean, really, can, I mean, can you really, can you can really you be, you can't be picky right now. I don't care. Yeah, if you, you can't go. really be picky right you're now. You're in Nashville, you're in Nashville. I mean, that's, it's what it is. I mean, and, and, and for a lot of these fans that are out there saying that they don't want Tennessee to go to Nap, it, I mean, Foreman should be pissed. No, he shouldn't. His team, it, you know, no. You're this, in a bowl this game. Is, this, you're in a bowl game. You're making money. Exactly. Uh, 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 exactly. You're getting another chance. You're getting an opportunity mm-hmm. to show what you're about. To get. You're getting an opportunity to show recruits again what you're about. Uh, you're getting another You're getting another chance for your guys to go out there and play a game that they love. You get another chance to go out there. Guys get better. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, there's nothing wrong with a bowl game. I don't give a damn no, where, what no, bowl no. game. I mean, we can sit here, yeah. And say, well, that that bowl game sucks compared to that bowl game. But yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? You, you, yeah, most definitely. Your record, your record determines where you go bowling. And when you and and, and if you know you want to get in a better bowl, have a better record. You know, it's that record. simple. But at the end of the day, man, a bowl. You know, obviously, there's different magnitudes to certain bowls, right? You get the Cotton Bowl, the Peach Bowl. Those mean a little bit more than the. Music City Bowl and the Odyssey Bowl, you know what I mean? There's a little bit more that comes with that, and, and there's a little bit more of a badge of honor that comes with that. But, again, if we're talking about what it really means and what it's really worth, hey, man, bowl game's a bowl game, man. We got another opportunity to get better. We got another opportunity to go out there and compete. We got another opportunity to go out there and show uh, what we are. We got another opportunity to develop ourselves and get better and, 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 and do all those things, man. So, you know, can't really be mad about it, man. Just be happy and, and make the most of it. Well, here, yeah, I'm going to tell you this. I mean, they should be blessed and happy to get a bowl game because me personally, there's too many dang on bowl games anyway. I hate know, because, I, I mean, I'm one of those you know, I hate it's, it. It's, to me, it's almost like a participation trophy anyway. You know, they saying, it is. you know, it is. hey, guess what? Well, we won six games. I mean, you know, come on, man. Get that out of I mean, Look, I, if you're I, 500, I, If you're 500 or, or worse, you don't need to go to no bowl game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I don't, look. The NFL, if the NFL, if you're, if you're, uh, if you're eight and eight, Guess where you're going? <laughs> home. <laughs> to the house. <laughs> to the crib. To the you ain't house. going nowhere. Right? In the, the NBA, <laughs> in the NBA, if you 44, if you know what I'm saying? If you 41, if you 41 and 41, guess where you going? You to the house, man. Home. You know, you know what I'm saying? So the same thing in college, man. If you if you five and five or six and six, whatever the hell it is, hey, go home. Try it again next year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm Try saying? Again yeah, next they got year, they got right. way they got way too many bowls. I mean, hell, they got they got they got the uh, the 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 Charmin Bowl one year, and then <laughs> and then and then they get rid of that one, and then they come up with the uh, uh, the Dirty Sock Bowl this next year. Like, I mean, they come up. I mean, it's a new bowl. Look, if you look down the bowl list every year, they got a new bowl. A on. New bowl. A new bowl. You like, bro? Like, come on, man. We don't need no more bowls, bro. We don't need. Give give me two more play. Give me give me four more playoff spots. That's, that's what, what see, I want. That's what I, that's what I rather more, have. You want to get the hell with yes. another bowl? Give me yes. four more playoff spots. Yes. Give me that's, four. Give me. Give me a couple more games that matter in them playoffs that I can watch. Now you know you're I mean? talking. That's what now I want to see. Now you get, you're talking. You get rid of that now damn bowl game, man. Scratch that. Now you're talking. Now that 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 would be perfect right there, man. Because I I remember when I was in school when they played when they came up with what was it? They it was called the, the beast, something the beast, toilet the toilet the toilet bowl thing when they started doing it like that. I was like, come on, man, it's too many bowl games. Well, I mean, look, they were like, okay, well, they had the BCS, right? Mm-hmm. So they were like, okay, the BCS basically is an extra game, right? So you're sitting there like, okay, fine. They're like, well, we got to add an extra bowl. We got to add an extra bowl because now they have this extra game on the top end. We got to have an extra game on the bottom end, right? 
and you know, we all know what that is. It's a money grab. Oh, yeah, uh, most definitely. You know that. You know, and, and, and at the end of the day, this is all about money. But, you know, why would you why, – why are you basically rewarding mediocrity is what you're basically <laughs> doing. You're basically saying, hey, man, as long as you're average, hey, man, you'll get to play an extra game. And, oh, and, 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 and when I think of the word bowl in terms of sports and football, I think of it as a reward, right? So you don't get rewards for being average, mm -hmm. right? Like, I don't, you know, in anywhere, in anywhere, I don't understand how you get rewards for being average. So, um, you know, Cause look, it never, it'll never change that. because the money's too good. But, you know, I'm with you, man. Like, they got to get rid of these bowl – they got to get rid of some of these bowl games. I'm like, there's probably, like, four bowl games right now that they could be like, you know what, we could really do without that. Now, it's good TV because, hey, when you're sitting there, uh, uh, you know, Everybody don't start filing the house for vacation. You know, it's like the 22nd, the 23rd, 24th, you waiting on Christmas and all that. Yeah, that's good TV to watch. But I would be honest with you, man. And no offense to whoever school I name I drop, but I really don't give a damn about watching uh, 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 Winston-Salem State or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even know if they have a team, right? But I don't, I don't give a damn about watching them. You know what I mean? I don't care about watching them. If you were a five, if you're a six and six football team during the year, I really don't care what the hell you got going on this time of year. I really don't. You were six and six. You were six and six. I really don't give a damn what you got going on right now. Let's see. So let's see. How many? I'm trying to think. Is what a hundred and what thirty something? There's like I think there's I think there's 120 teams. 100 something, and, something, like, something that. like that. Something like that. Right. And. You're talking about 39 bowl games. That's what, 78 teams that get to go to bowl games. All right. 78. <laughs> so 70% of the teams, basically, basically. Yeah, that's that, right around that 70% of right. college football gets to go to a bowl game every year. Now, look, I'm not mad at that. No. I'm not mad at it per se because, again, you know, hey, look, you know, you want guys to have a good experience. But on the other side of it, if, you know, just being competitive about it, I don't want to see uh, bowl games with two teams that couldn't beat nobody during the year. True. Like, why do, why do I want to see two teams that couldn't beat nobody beat up on each other? That's, that's damn near like watching paint dry. That's just terrible. Like, why do I want to watch that? You know what I'm saying? That's, I don't want to watch that. Oh, man. Dude. That's like, 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 okay. It, like, like, come on now. Like it's like high school football, you know what I mean? Like oh, we don't want to talk in about first, that. In the first in the first round of the playoffs, does anybody really show up to that game other than the team that's going to win? Mm -hmm. No. Exactly. No. No, nobody shows up to that game. Why? Cuz it don't mean a damn thing. That team that's six, that team that's 5 and 5 about to get their ass whooped by that team that's uh 10 and over 9 and 1. It's crazy. They about to get worse. Now, and I'm saying now, but here's the other problem of it. If it was a playoff system where, hey, if you were average and you backdoored your way into the playoffs and you had a chance to play a 10 and 1 or a, a, a 11 and 0 or 12 and 0 team or a 13 and 0 team, it's a bit different, having a different conversation because you're actually getting to play it out on the field. But, you know, it's not like, you know, say, like, it's, it's just like in the NFL, like we mentioned before, like wild card teams, there ain't no 8 and 8 man. Come on. <laughs> Now this year, if you if you a uh, Dallas fan, you know what I'm saying they about to backdoor their way in the playoffs. They about to backdoor their way in there, boy. Yeah, because they division so, uh, so so damn sorry. Oh, remind yeah. me when we done, man. I got this. My brother sent me this meme about uh, the playoffs, man, and all the playoff teams and how Dallas going in, bro. It's so funny. You got uh, you got you, you got to remind me. I but, can't uh, wait to hear that. Dude. <laughs> but 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 the thing about it is, man, like. You know, Dallas division is so damn terrible. The NFC East so terrible. They going to get in the playoffs at 8-8. Eight and, eight. Mm -hmm. and and that's why Garrett going to keep his job. <laughs> man, he ain't going to look. He, ain't, he done. He done. Don't know, don't know coach get into the last year of his deal. I don't get it, though, man. He they either fair, fire though. you. They either fire you or they, or they, or they extend you. You don't, mm -hmm. get the, you don't get to the very end of your deal and then them say, well, that's, this, that's Jerry saying, look, I don't want to fire you. You've been my boy, right? I don't want to fire you. I'm just not going to renew you. <laughs> right? I'm just not going to write. I'm just not going to sign that contract again. But you already saw how he came out and was like, hey, Jason Garrett's a good coach. He already trying to politic for him for another job because he know he ain't about to bring him back. 
Oh, you know he, you know he gonna get another job. It's gonna be yeah, too many I mean, out there. Man, this is good old boy system, man. It's the NFL, brother. You gonna get another job. There. You already know that, man. You gonna get another job. You know what I mean? So <sighs> it is what it is, man. It oh, is what it know is. What? I knew I knew it was something else I wanted to ask you, man. So you know, of course, me, I knew it wasn't. It was a bunch of BS. The, the, the sideline incident with Juwan Jennings, man. They somebody stumped on the man's head. Oh, I'm like, come God. on, man. You, I'm like, come, I'm on. Like, God, come on, man. Bro, like, 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 and here's the thing. Like, I know DJ a little bit. DJ Shockley, right? I know him a little bit. Mm-hmm. We played at George. He played at George the same time I was at Tennessee. And, you know, we've run into each other a couple of times because of stuff he does with the Falcons in, in the past. And, and uh, you know, we chopped it up a couple of times. I was so disappointed in the way that he handled that situation. You acting like Jawan put, I mean, and, and, and look, I know this is a sore subject with still people, and I don't like bringing it up because that's my dog. But, I mean, it ain't like he pulled an Albert now. You know what I mean? It ain't like he pulled an Albert. No, you know what I'm saying? And just, no. just flat out just like, uh, like, bruh, did it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like uh-huh. he did that. That was to, look, he already gave Buddy the business. You know what I'm saying? He gave him a little bit of extra, you know what I'm saying? Gave him a little bit of extra tough love down there after he got him on the ground. And then everybody started piling up on him. So he getting up, trying to get up, and it just so happened. Now, why did dude take his helmet off? Exactly. Why did you take your helmet off? I mean, haven't we learned by now? Do not take your helmet off on the field. Exactly. You just saw what happened to your boy. Uh, 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 damn near Mason almost got sent back to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Sent, sent, <laughs> <laughs> he almost got he almost got pounded into the ground. Uh, so, you know, learn, if, 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 if we if, if if nothing else in the last three four weeks have we not learned not to take your helmet off? Right. They 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 gonna learn one day they will. Yeah, so you gonna learn one day like hey, quit taking your helmet off on the field, bro. Like that that especially when the play going on. Exactly. Until you to the sideline sitting on the bench, keep your helmet on. You know what I mean? Keep your helmet on. You don't know what's going on out there. Keep your helmet on. But no, nah, he didn't do nothing. Look, no, he ain't man. done. He didn't do. Juwan ain't do nothing wrong in that situation. Uh, I, I can't find any fault with it. And I sit there and watch. I watch that replay over man, and over and oh, over man, and over, did. trying to find something. Trying to be like, okay, man, I'm gonna be devil's advocate here, and I'm gonna try and find something wrong with this. I didn't yeah. find nothing wrong with it. You nothing, know what I mean? Nothing, I didn't find nothing wrong with nothing. it. He, he, hey. He put the screws to Buddy on the sideline. <laughs> he let him know about it. You know what I'm saying? We've been whooping y'all ass all day. So when I put these screws to you just now, yeah, I'm going to talk to you a little bit. I'm going to talk to you a little bit. And old Buddy got mad, so he started trying to tussle from the bottom. And then, you know, he like, look, man, you ain't, nah, I ain't about to let you up that fast. You know what I'm saying? He big boy them. And it's cool. Like, hey, when you get your ass whooped, you get your ass whooped. It's what happens. It's football. You know what I mean? Like. Exactly. They're gonna, you know, they gonna be give you a little extra sauce when, when after that, you know. Say especially when he put when he, somebody hit you like he hit old boy. Yeah, you gonna you gonna you gonna give him a little extra sauce on the ground now. You know what I mean? And, and, and think about it. Here's the other thing. Think about this too. He an offensive guy on special team. He get hit every day. Every day he got people trying to take his head off on offense. I know if I'm a, if I'm a, on offense if I'm on special teams and I get to put the screws to you. Oh, bro, I'm gonna let you know about it. Got especially it. if I hit Got you it. like he hit. Mm. Especially if, if I hit you like he hit, old boy. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you know about it because I'm tired of being hit every day. I take it every single day. So yeah, when I get to get somebody else, yeah, I'm gonna give you the business a little bit more, bro. I'm gonna let you know about it. But he didn't stomp dude on purpose. It wasn't a deal. He was trying to get up, and you know he was excited. Obviously, it was a it was a well timed misplaced foot. That's all exactly. it was. You I, know what I'm saying? That's all it I, was. And I, I, and. I, and like I say, another one of the fellas say the exact same thing I said, man. So uh, enough with that. With you know the fans, you know that's what I'm saying. Football players, we know what happened out there. You know the people that right. watch it on TV, they think they they try to make up stuff about us, man. Get well, I mean, look, look, look. I mean, look. We do live. Yeah. We do. This is this is 2019, about to be 20. Any opportunity that any person on TV gets to bring more attention to us to themselves or to a, a, a situation because then it means more ratings, it means more viewers, it means all this stuff, they're gonna do it. That's their job. I mean, do I really respect it? No, cause that's why I kinda, that's why I don't really, that's why I was like, man, you know what? I don't wanna be in TV no more. Even when I thought that's cause I really wanted to do that. I was like, I'm not gonna be out here just embellishing on stuff and trying to, uh, 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 you know, 
throw logs on the fire and, you know what I'm saying, add gas to it, you know, when it really ain't a big issue. Just because, oh, hey, add some more gas to that, man, so we can get some more viewers. Man, hell no, nah, man. What, I, what the hell I look like doing that, man? That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, hey, man, anybody man. got time for that. And anybody who knows ball, when they sit there and they hear that, that's like, look, you turn the channel. You be like, bro, I don't, man, come back. I'll come back when y'all start talking for real, man. Like, y'all y'all tripping right now, man. Hey, y'all tripping right hey, now. I'm glad you said that, man. That's why I didn't do exactly what you're saying, man. I, I, I couldn't do that, man. I couldn't just be like, you know, flaming it up just because that's where everybody want to hear. Yeah, I mean, I can't look. I'm not I'm not one of those, man. I, I'm not going to yeah. sit there and flame it up, bro. I'm not going to yeah. do that. Like, like yeah. sit, look, especially if it's on camera. You know what I mean? It's on camera for everybody to see. It is what it is. Right. So 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 me sitting there trying to make up stuff to make it sound better or make it you're not going to make it look any sound any better. It is what it is like. It's, it's on camera. You know, it ain't like you doing it. Now, if you on radio. Eh, I could probably understand, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to give the fans a little bit of, you know, get them excited. Feel what's going on. Yeah, 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 excited, yeah. get them riled up a little bit because it's all listening. You're not you're not seeing anything. But it's on TV, bro. Like, we all can sit there and see that he did not purposely stomp Buddy on the face. He didn't mean to. It was an accident. He was he was excited because he just molly whopped him, right? <laughs> so <laughs> he was excited when he got up. You know what I mean? Oh, man, well. All right, man. We're going to get out of here, man, because we got so much to come up with stuff, man. We can talk all day, man. We'll chop this on the next segment. Matter of fact, we, let's just try to do this every week, man. Gee, they like yeah, you, man. They, 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 they want to hear what you got to say, man. Bowl games coming up this weekend going to be big, man. Matter of fact, we might do a little, little segment Friday or something, man, and um, talk about the bowl games and what we expect out of some of these games, man. Because I mean, that's what, I mean, you got I mean, you got to think about it. You got the you know, conference championships coming up this week. You know, I know. Got, that's, that's easy. Uh, LSU. Big games. These LSU and Georgia. Hold on for one second, brother. Got a call. Call back later. Um, yeah, sorry about that. But, um, you know, you got obviously the SEC championship game, the Big 12 championship game, Pac-12 championship game. Um, yeah, you even got – you even got – what is it? What is, what is it, what is it the, uh, the 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 Mac camp championship game? You got all of those coming up, right? So yeah, those, those, games this weekend, man. those are all – those will all be pretty good ones, man. I'm, the one I'm really looking forward to, man, is, is the uh, Big 10 championship game. Cause that one is going to really tell. That really is going to lay it out. That's yeah. going. That's going to lay it out. Cause here's the thing: SEC championship. You know, doesn't matter who wins that one. That one's getting in. Yeah. Right. We already know who's in and out. Yeah, we already know. Yeah, we already know who's in and out. If if Ohio State loses, they're completely out. <laughs> Things change big time. And, and, and the and the lose and the winner ain't getting in either. Wisconsin is it Wisconsin? They're playing Wisconsin, correct? So mm -hmm. yeah. Wisconsin's not high enough ranked to really move the needle to get in the top four, even if they beat Ohio State. So the Big Ten championship game is what's really going to set the tone for every for the entire playoff system, uh, deal because if Ohio State does not win that game, they they're completely out. They can't the, get Big Ten, the Big Ten is totally out, and it opens the door for – Mm -hmm. it, it opens the door for some other teams to get in. It opens the door for the Big 12 situation because of them. Think about it. If, if – uh, you know, if, if Baylor avenges their loss against Oklahoma, and they're, you know what I mean, they're they're in, they're in. Uh, and then you know, Pac-12 means a big deal because even with the Big Ten, if that one goes the correct way, then the Pac-12 has the opportunity to keep the Big 12 completely out. Hey, I hope it happens though. I want I want it. That's what's saying. That's what makes it chop out some of these damn bowl games and add some more playoff contenders. Right, ask some more playoff because I mean, think about it. If you play, if you got one to eight right now, I think who's in the top eight right now, other than the top four? Who's in the, who's 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 five? Let's see, Baylor's five. Is Baylor's five? You think you still got Baylor? You still have um, Baylor's Oklahoma, five. You still have um, Utah. Utah's in there. Um, um, who else was it? Minnesota's in there, I think. Minnesota is no, Minnesota, they, or no, they, they uh, lost. They, they, they lost. lost two. So yeah, they, they, they lost, lost two last week. So no, they're completely out of. They're out of like reach. Um, oh man! Well, I tell you, give me. I tell you. I have to look at it, but I, I don't have it right here in front of me. But I mean, okay, here we go. It, you got you, of course the top four: Ohio State, LSU, Clemson, Georgia. You right. got Utah, Oklahoma, Baylor, Wisconsin. Oh, hold on now. Yeah, that's some work up, man. Wisconsin's not going to jump five spots. Yeah, I don't see that happening. They're not going to jump five spots. 
because they got too many losses on their record. Yeah, plus they got two losses. You're right. They're not going to jump five spots. Man, that's going to be huge. And everybody knows, everybody knows on a neutral field, Wisconsin could not handle any one of those top four teams. No, no way. No way. So they're not getting in no matter what happens. They could go out there and beat Ohio State by 50. They're still not getting in. No. No, you're right about that, man. Well, we're going to get out of here, man. G, we'll, man, we'll chop this up here, man, because, dude, that's another – man, I forgot about that. This is going to be a controversy situation here, and that's what I well, love. Well, I mean, if it all – if it, you know, the shakeups happen, yeah, it's going to be crazy. We'll see what, you know, playoff system going to have to rethink it all over again because, you know, some of those teams, man – like, here's the deal. If Minnesota hadn't stumbled the last <laughs> couple weeks – They'd be in it. They're a team. They're a team that's that, that that that. If you're one of those teams in the top four, and you got to play them on a neutral site, that's scary. I mean, it's not scary, but you got you got you got something to think about with Minnesota because Minnesota. I watch, I got a chance to watch them this year one time, and I was and, you know they won that game. I think it was the Penn State game that they won. Mm-hmm. Uh, they look good against Penn State. I mean, shit, Penn State didn't really do nothing to them. No, they shut them down. I mean, they pretty much they pretty much handled Penn State from start to finish. Uh, and they got them two receivers, man, on that team, boy. That they, I don't know how the hell they ended up at Minnesota, but <laughs> it's one of those situations. <laughs> well, I mean, we know, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, come on, yeah, yeah, you know how they ended up in Minnesota, right? But, but, I mean, come on, man, like, them, 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 them two receivers are bad, man, and they got the defense that's pretty good too, that led by uh, what's the name's uh, young son? Uh, oh man. Sertain's boy plays with uh Alabama, but the other mm-hmm. kid, but it's the other guy who man who's uh oh man. Whitfield, Winfield, Winfield mm-hmm. that played at Ohio State. His son, he he be out there smacking people mm-hmm. at safety. He ain't he ain't but a he, he ain't but like, you know, yay big, but he be out there, you know, laying screws to people, man. So uh Minnesota's one of those teams, but I mean look, you got that's where you gotta I think that's why they need to expand it. I think they need to expand it. Just simply, it, it would be better for college football <laughs> all the way around. I forgot about Winfield, man. Yeah, yeah. I saw, matter of fact, I did get a chance to see him because he, yeah, he's hey, he he nice, off and shoot. Yeah, and, and he, he like um, I think he's number eleven too. He, hey, his, his boy nice at safety. Yeah, because I think he had a couple picks this year. I mean, like like six. Seven I don't know. Picks, I can't remember you know? if he played safety or corner, but either way, he be hey. Look, best thing about him, man, he stick his nose in there in the run game too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like playing back there at that, that defensive back, hey, he get up there and stick his nose in there in the run game. He don't he don't get missing when that ball get running. So that's that's one thing, man. You get to get to watch. But, but yeah, man, we're looking forward to talking about it, man. It's, it's gonna be a good weekend. Most definitely, man. What's true? We'll check it out, man. Hey guys, hey, like I said, man, thanks for watching us, man. You know, we're gonna be doing this here every week, me and G, man. And Shoot and G, make sure you want to get any fellas on here with us and chop it up here too, man. We can get them all here at the same time and I act a fool on here, man. So absolutely. We out here, guys. Until next time, man. Go Vols. Go Vols, man. See you later.